Well, just like what you said, that just totally picked me up and made that Thanksgiving one of my most memorable and greatest. Oh, well, um, I can't dig deep in my memory, but um, I, I was living in a, a, a bathtub in the kitchen in the East Village. <laughs> well, who isn't? And I, I, uh, I met uh, Marsha on the street very late, and uh, she was real, uh, she was tired. And I said, well, why don't you come up and, and crash at my place? There's floor space all over. And she came up, and um, uh, I, I didn't pay my Con Ed bill, so everything was by, by candles. <laughs> and she thought, oh, this is romantic. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I said, well, yeah, but uh, not all the time. <laughs> and so she, she said, well, are there more candles? And I had, uh, I always have a shrine or an altar, and so I lit all of them, and she thought it was so beautiful. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, now make yourself at home, there's an extra toothbrush uh, near the bathtub, et cetera, et cetera. And she said, oh, you have bubble bath. And I said, oh yeah, help yourself, and I have hot water too. And so she proceeded to make the most wonderful bubble bath and somehow she used uh, the Easter egg coloring I had, and she, she colored it fabulously, but she let the bathtub overflow with all these fabulous things. And of course, the neighbors came up and wondered, and she opened the door and, and said, well, can I help you? And uh, she caught them um, uh, off guard, and uh, uh, she, uh, I said, why don't you come in? And I thought, oh, oh that's all we need. In New York, you, you never let your neighbors in <laughs> because they talk and talk and talk. And uh, she said, oh, Augusto, don't go to sleep yet. Uh, roll them a joint. And I said, I don't even know these people. And she said, let's make good neighbors. And so she proceeded. She opened the fridge. I had some hot dogs, she boiled the water, she gave a party, and I mean, it was the most amazing uh, thing is, uh, is it by candlelight, uh, is, is that, huh? I, I, I felt like I was on acid, but it was a wonderful, wonderful dream, and uh, the neighbors were so nice to me. When I had to leave, they helped me carry my suitcases down to the street. So God bless you, i watch you for that too. <laughs> that was like an episode of Three's Company, but um, <laughs> I just like the whole package of Marsha and the fact that any random encounter with her was not going to be boring. And I also think this should be the official new question on Miss America. What's your favorite memory of Marsha B. Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for coming and we'll see you next month.